Okay, guys, here we go. Here's the update you've been waiting for. We got the Kimber back from Kimber for Marie Pear Shop. I'm going to show you what they have done to it and let you know how it's been working. Here we go. Here it is. This is how it came back. I'm going to take it apart, show you what they've done and what they have changed on it. Okay. Here we go. This is what they changed on it. They have changed the recoil rod and the recoil spring. Look. See how that's made now? It's a big difference from the other one. And we got a flat recoil spring. Same size on both ends. We'll show you what used to be in it. And they polished the whole barrel on it. And feed ramp and inside of the chamber. And let me show you, here is the original one, they did not send it back, this is all of my other Kimber I have, there's the old round recoil spring and rod, what it used to look like, I have the Raptor myself, this one is mine, the other one belongs to the wife. It has the new recoil rod and spring in it. I call it Kimber. When this one came back, my wife's came back, I called Kimber and I asked him if I could buy one to put in mine. He said, no, if you own another one, just give me your name and your address and we'll get one mailed out to you so for all of you guys that own one of these you could call Kimber and they will send you a brand new recoil rod and spring and the guy I talked to I asked him, is this what they're going to start shipping them like now? Oops, sorry about that, guys. He said, no, they're not quite sure. He said, but so far, they have had good results with it. I've put about 150 rounds through this since it came back. It has worked flawlessly. They put a new slide release in it quite sure if I got that locked down all the way. Yeah, I do. It seems to be a little thicker. Um, what else did he do? The spring, the polishing, and I haven't had any malfunctions in it out of 150 rounds. I didn't want to do an update video because I only put about 50 rounds through it. Yesterday I went and put another 100 rounds through it. No problems. This one here, after I put it back, put that recoil spring and rod in, I put about 100 rounds through it. It was flawless. Oh, and they did tighten, adjust the extractor to put more tension on it. Because before, you could have this loaded and you'd be pulling it back like that and it would just drop your shell right off. It would just fall down before it would even hit the rear. So that's working good now. This one here, I adjusted it myself. Um, there's videos out there on 1911s, how to adjust your extractor. So if you just put it on YouTube, you know, um, 1911 extractor adjustment you will find them videos how to do that this one 
has ran flawlessly for me ever since I've owned it. But it did need a little bit of adjustment on that one too. And there's ways of testing that. And if you go watch them videos, you'll figure that out. So it took about two weeks to get this back from Kimber. I was really surprised it came back that fast. Um, of course, it didn't have a whole lot to do to it besides replace this. Do a little bit of polishing and um, adjust the extractor. And because it was only having uh, it was having stove pipes and failure to eject, and this was popping out. The slide stop and release was popping out right here once in a while. So there's the update guys. I hope you enjoy that. Hope it helps you out. Don't forget to call Kimber if you own one of these. Get you a new rod in spring. And they say the new spring, I asked them, you know, about the poundage on it. I'm going to say it's about a 12, 13 pound recoil spring they put in there now. Because definitely a lot stiffer than it was, but it's, you know, still a very smooth gun, you know. So I'm really happy with this because this is my wife's, you know, and this is what she likes for her protection when she's out running around. Okay, you guys have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next time.